bought another race car. We're gonna make this long journey. Oh, it's long in the truck, but it's probably not too far by car. About three hours ish, just over three hours. We're gonna drive up to Gladstone. We're gonna pick up this car now. Um, it's a Mitsubishi Magna production sedan. Now, the, the plan with this car is we're gonna convert it back to a street stock. So, we've asked about the engine specifications, and all the engine specifications are within the street stock rules. The bottom end is dead stock, it's only got 20 feet shaped off the heads and the cam and stuff in it. It's making pretty good power for what it is. Um, was running on a Haltech ECU, but we're gonna convert that back to a, a Falcon ECU or maybe a Commodore. I'm pretty sure a Falcon, but we'll see. Anyway, let's go and check this car out, mate. So it's yeah. nothing, it, nothing special. It's just a re ring and a re bearing. Yeah. And the heads are stock standard and we put 20 dollars on it. And that's it. Perfect legal street stock. It's got it's got cam, adjustable cam gears on it. Yeah. But they're legal street stock as well. Yeah. So there's nothing um there's nothing illegal apart from the extractors. You didn't knock any off the top of the piston or anything. Nope, no. no. The pistons only touch. Yeah. The only thing on the engine that's not is the extractor and that's it. Everything else is so well, apart, apart from these coils, you have to go back to spark plugs. So it's not ported and polished or no boarding and polishing, nothing. Yeah. Nothing, no balancing, zero. There's like fucking gearboxes and K-frames and suspension bits and axles and all that shit in here. And it's weighing the trailer down real bad and I can't move the car any further forward because it's hitting on the winch. So the only option here, well the only option in my brain, is to chop the mud guard so the wheel can flex up a little bit higher and stop rubbing on them. That out of the way. Ta-da! This is so bodgy, babe. <laughs> Six. Come 
maybe steer it, just can't stop it. I can see how we go. Oh, it didn't move. Now we push it. There you go. Are you right? Has it got brakes? The pedals? Yeah. You're very low in there. Yeah. Can you see over the dash? <laughs> Imagine me sitting in there. I can see the front bonnet pins. <laughs> it's, it is very low. Oh, you said it doesn't sound like that. Hey? You said it sounds... Guys. Except for it revs all the heart than that. Turn it on. I'm gonna start it. <laughs> Not yet. It won't go because it's got an ACU. Turn the key on. Fucking stiff. I guess it's, it is a proddy. Oh. What? I think I'm going to have to change that. Change what? The, there's a distance between where these bars end and the back of the car, how far that can be. Oh. And I think it's too close. I think it has to be up here. Oh, fuck. That's a big job. Yeah. Yeah, you have to cut it. Cut it and, and re-angle it. Re-angle it and well it yeah. on there. I think it might be too far, but we'll have to check the rule book and see how far it is. And, one, and, I'm pretty sure and you're not allowed, allowed that. that. I'm pretty oh. sure we are allowed it now. Oh. Yeah, fuel tank protection bar, because um, some streeties have them. Oh. So, but I'll have to check it. Look at this. That'll be fun to try and weld a boot floor in there, won't it? Fuck. Yeah, no extractors. There's these chains. Not that a bit better. You might have to do something with that, yeah. That there looks like a map sensor plug. Anyway, those are your plugs to go into a Haltech. I've Shit. got to get them, chop them off, and get a... EB Falcon ECU plug and wire it on there in the right way. That'll be an interesting, Joel. Thank you, reckon? Mm. <laughs> right, yeah, so remember how we're going to do a budget build magna? Well, um, here it is. <laughs> no, um, I kind of just bought one, but it's not. It's not done yet. It needs work. So we, we decided not to go with the budget build Magna idea because this came up and it was pretty cheap, so it's still budget build. Um, it's a little bit different. It's not going to be a full car build, which would have been pretty exciting to do and show you all. But So we've got a Magna. It's a production sedan Magna. We're going to convert it back to a street style, which will be pretty exciting. Now, and the reason we, we, we're going with this idea rather than the budget build is there's a lot of cheap proddies out there that are sort of not competing with proddies anymore or they're just going for really cheap. They've had the fronts cut off them, they've had the backs cut off them. And obviously with street stock, you've got to have fronts and backs of your car. Um, so we thought it'd be pretty exciting to 
weld the front back on and weld the back back on. The specifications in this motor are only to street stock spec. Then. So we asked the seller what's actually been done to this motor to make sure that we can convert it back to a street stock and it doesn't have anything really major done to it. It's got a cam, it's had the head shaved 20 thou. The bottom end was rebuilt, but it was all rebuilt with stock OEM parts. So basically it's a street stock motor in a proddy. It's got all proddy suspension, so we're gonna swap the suspension back out to street stock suspension, weld the front on, rewire the ECU to run with the Falcon um, computer, cause in our class we're only allowed to run an EB Falcon ECU or a VN ECU, so we've got to try and run this. V6 Magna engine on a straight six EB Falcon ECU, which is going to be a pretty fun job to try and wire all that up, especially considering it was previously wired for an Haltech ECU, and that's probably why it made quite a bit of power and could compete with the production sedans. We'll lose a bit of power, we'll lose a bit of RPMs out of it, uh, but it'll be pretty exciting. It looks like a good clean motor, it's been rebuilt not that long ago, so should be cool.